Osorio, Indonesian officials from Capri and from Batam, Indonesian friends, fellow Singaporeans, ladies and gentlemen. I'm delighted to be with, to be with you here this evening for the celebration of Singapore's 45th National Day. Singapore and Capri are close neighbors, very close neighbors. Our relationship goes back centuries. In the 1970s, Batam became the first island in the Real Archipelago to be developed by the central government because of its proximity to Singapore. The Sijori Road Triangle was established in 1989 to capitalize on the comparative strength of Singapore, Johor, and Riau, and to make the entire region more attractive to international investors. Today, the Batang, Bintan, and Karimun Special Economic Zone is one of the most important pillars of our bilateral relationship with Indonesia. It allows Singapore and Indonesia, particularly Capri, to capitalize on our respective strengths for mutual benefit. The dynamism of the BBK Special Economic Zone has also made it a model for growth in Indonesia. Singapore's relationship with Capri are a reflection of the Singapore's relations with Capri are a reflection of our close bilateral ties with Indonesia as a whole. Singapore was the largest investor in Indonesia in 2009, with total investments amounting to 4.4 billion US dollars. Approximately one third of our investments are in Batam and Bintan. Our countries have also been among each other's top five trading partners for many years. During their retreat in Singapore in May this year, Indonesian President Susilo Bambang Yudhoyono and Singapore Prime Minister Li Xianglong decided to form seven working groups to boost bilateral cooperation in areas such as investment, tourism, agribusiness, and air travel. These working groups will open up even more opportunity for companies in Singapore and Indonesia, including Capri. However, the relationship between Singapore and Capri goes well beyond the economic sphere. In June, Singapore's Ministry of Health conducted a mosquito surveillance training course for Capri or health officials in Tanampina. Singapore's Alexandra Hospital has a collaboration program with Indonesia to train nurses at the newly constructed National Health Training Center in Batam. Through the Singapore Co Cooperation Program, we have been conducting English language training courses for many Capri officials. Our embassy has been hosting National Day receptions in Batam since 2004. However, this year is a particularly special celebration for us. Just this afternoon, I had the pleasure and the honor of opening Singapore's new consulate in Batam. And it's the first consulate in Batam. I'm pleased to know that uh, we have the honor of, of uh, beginning what I hope will be a trend of international consulates being established here. The opening of the Batam Consulate is a clear signal of Singapore's commitment to bringing our economic engagement and relations with Capri to even higher levels. Singapore and Indonesia are close neighbors and our destinies are tied together. There are many areas in which we have, we have and should continue to work together for mutual benefit. Bunga Mawa, Linda Tawarna, Mawa di Patek, Untuk Krabi. Hubungan baik, senantiasa dibina, Kepri Singapura, selalu bersama. On behalf of all Singaporeans here, I thank Pak Suryo and all Indonesian friends for joining us this evening. And to all fellow Singaporeans, a very happy National Day. Thank you.